So it all started on a mid-Saturday afternoon. I was walking outside my house when I just decided to take a swing by the mall. Along the way, I heard sort of a sound by the trees and I turned my head, and out of the blue came one of my very best friends, Sly Cooper. I said, hey, I haven't seen you for such a long time, how you doing? He goes, I remember you, haven't seen you since you were like a very young kid. And I said, I know, how time flies. He responded, so what have you been up to for the past couple of years? And I said, if it's not school, it's usually trying to find a job or a girlfriend. He, and I said, how about you? I, you're the one who should be answering the question. He says, well, after the third game, I kind of, things kind of slowed down for me. Not too many people um, really understood who I was. Not too many, um, actually, there were a ton of fans who came up calling my name, asking me for autographs and my next game. I was like, I mean, there were just a ton of fans that, that really wanted attention. Even Disney Adventures Magazine had to answer the question, to which I responded, I really gave no feedback to it. I was actually hoping for a new adventure myself. I just never got the call back. Apparently all the attention went to Cole McGrath. And I said, oh yeah, I heard about it. I mean, Infamous is a great game and everything, but I mean, still, I mean, a lot of the fans did miss you and everything. And, and so I did see some of Sly Cooper-esque, you know, in Infamous. But what do you, what's your opinion on it? He says... He says, eh, I don't really know what to say. I just wish that it was my, it was my next game instead of his. And I said, well, they got to keep it up a notch, you know? And he says, I know, I know. But overall, how you said high school. How's high school going for you? And I said, eh, it's tricky. Eh, I mean, I tried dabbling more in Spanish. I've been doing pretty good in my Spanish. But overall, I've just been dealing with some pretty hard situations with my friends. And I fell into a kind of a bad group. He goes, oh, really? And I said, yeah thieves. And he says, really, thieves? And I said, nothing like you. I mean, they're just like idiots, you know? They they just like to um, steal just for the heck of it. And he goes, yeah, the worst type of thieves I know. They just don't think things through. The type of folks I kind of steal from. And I, and I said, really? And he, he says, oh yeah. Well, other than that, what do you say we go try to find them? And I said, alright. So, well, just about a coincidence, I actually came across some of my old friends around the mall. Yeah, they were trying to steal a television from Sears. So I, I was like, so I went to them and I said, Hey, how's it going, you guys? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it was my least favorite people. We came across Nick, Jim, and Connor. Yeah, Nick high-fived me, slapped me on the back, and said, Hey, man, haven't seen you for a while. And then I said, Yeah, yeah, I know, it's been a while. And I said under my breath, very long while. Right, right after that, uh, Connor kind of noticed um, Sly standing next to me. He says, dude, I didn't know you were hanging out with furries now. Sly shot me a look and then glared. And I, and I said, what are you guys up to? And he just says, oh, you know, we're, we're just going to, you know, use a five finger on this television we're looking for. And I said, oh, okay. Is there anything I can do? You know, trying to pretend that they're still my friends. He said... And then um, Jim says, "All right, well, you see, this television. We says we got we got it right here. We tricked the salesman into carrying it out for us. He didn't know we didn't pay for it." And I said, "I see, very clever." Meanwhile, I kind of gave Sly a wink, and he snuck behind the guys and he picked all their pockets, took all their money, and actually paid for the television. Yeah, <laughs> what a laugh. So they, so they didn't get in trouble, but man, were they angry when they discovered what had happened as they noticed the calling cards in their pockets. Oh yeah, they, they quickly caught on, and they started chasing us through the, um, th through the back alley. Yeah, Sly climbed into a, onto one of the sheds while I hid behind, but, but they were more interested in him. They, like, Connor actually climbed onto the shed, trying to, trying to beat him up, but, but Sly took a swing at his cane and hit him, like, hit him in the jaw, then whacked him across the leg. He fell off, and then... I was kind of surprised he, he was okay after that, but still, he messed up his leg pretty bad, and then, um, and then while his buddies came and picked Connor off the ground, um, I kind of came out in my hiding place, and then Nick says to me, I thought you were cool, man. I thought you were cool. And I said, I'm cooler than you. And then he says, how so? And I said to him, because I actually have a job, I make a living, I think, and one of these days, I'll actually be able to find my way out of depression, and find my way in life. Whereas you, you're just going to steal to make your living. And tell me, where's the honor in that if you don't have any plans ahead? He, he's like, he didn't have any comments after that. I shut him up. He just walked off and and they, and they unfriended me on Facebook. And I was kind of glad to hear the end of them. 
Sly hopped down and patted me on the back and said, I'm proud of you, man. You actually stuck up for what you believe in. I was like, but still, that do what you said doesn't apply against me, do you? And I said, nah, you're cool. I, I mean, I mean, granted, you know who to steal from. Just the those, those who deserve it. Those who actually have no lives. Kind of like the friends I used to hang with. And he says, yeah, but just be careful who you steal from. Some thieves steal to enrich their lives, others to define their lives. The big question is, which one are you? I didn't give a direct answer then because I actually haven't considered that one before. And I said, hey, thanks, buddy. I appreciate everything you've done. He, was like, he just says, well, it's been a pleasure seeing you again, Mike. And I said, likewise. So after that, he, um, he was kind of puffed of smoke, disappeared into the darkness, and I... He and I hung out a couple times after that, just kept in touch. Come across a lot of strange people in my travels. I see a lot of strange things. So I tend to see a lot of unusual people in my travels. And that's the truth of the matter. While I'm here, I just would like to give a shout out to Sly Cooper Rocks 101. You're awesome. Thank you for everything that you've done. If you haven't heard of her, she she um, has her own YouTube channel, World's Biggest Sly Cooper Fan. I actually thought I was the biggest Sly Cooper fan until I met this girl. Yeah, she is amazing. She actually uh, drew this really awesome picture for me. So, um, if you haven't heard of her, Sly Cooper Rocks 101, check her out.